There are absolutely appalling situations playing out at the University of Calgary and the University of Alberta this week. And I think it's very important that all of Canada look directly at what's happening, because it is shameful. In both universities, peaceful establishments have been established in solidarity with Gaza. This is part of a larger international movement of solidarity encampments that are being established at universities around the world. These encampments raise awareness and funds, but most importantly, the primary focus is to force the universities at which they're taking place to divest any investments they have from Israel in order to avoid funding the ongoing humanitarian catastrophe. At both the University of Calgary and the University of Alberta, these encampments were violently torn down by police. In the case of the University of Alberta, the police raided the encampment at 5.30 in the morning swinging batons and bicycles at the protesters who were simply sitting in chairs. YouTube won't let people see this video if I share the clips, but I will post links to them below. Be warned, they are appalling. I will share screenshots, though. Now, police claim that nobody was hurt during these incidents, but that does not appear to be the case. The university seems to have repeated that claim unquestioningly as well. But in reality, it appears that at least one person has a concussion, as well as another who shared a photo of a significant wound to their lower leg. And the University of Alberta is being particularly egregious here and doing everything they can to paint the protesters as some sort of dangerous, unruly mob. They claim that they found a box of potential weapons, including hammers, axes, and screwdrivers, along with a box of needles. Now, it appears that that box of needles was part of the first aid supplies, and that the hammers, axes, and screwdrivers were part of a camping toolkit. This is an encampment of tents. This is just an obvious attempt to frame the protesters as being dangerous when they are in fact not. Of course, the university insists that they have no means of ensuring that there are no weapons or illegal drugs, but of course they have plenty of means to send an army of riot police into the encampment to break up a peaceful protest. You see, the police are powerless to help you, but when it comes to clubbing you, they're on the spot. And I think it's important to note that the police were called in by the University of Alberta whose board just happens to be packed with donors to the United Conservative Party government. Weird how everyone aligned with the Smith government seems to take an authoritarian position. They tear down protests that they don't approve of and allow those that they do. And in a lot of cases, these police are just making up rules as they go. And many are showing up covered in body armor, clearly itching for a fight against peaceful protesters. In one video, the police just show up and start swinging batons at people sitting in chairs. Just such this woman who insists that protesters are going to be banned from the university. This group is officially banned verbally for a period of a year from the University of Alberta campuses. We will be IDing everybody. Important to note, she has no power to do this. The police cannot unilaterally ban people from public spaces, but that's not going to stop them from just making stuff up. But I think it's really important to note here that there are encampments that support the government's position that are welcome to stick around. Just look at these encampments around Lacombe and Cochrane, both of which are settling in for the long haul as they're building permanent structures. They get to stick around as long as they'd like because they want to get rid of the carbon tax, which is exactly what Daniel Smith wants. Reminder, if your protest is in support of the government's position, it isn't a protest, it's a party. But Danielle Smith is going to continue to let them occupy public spaces in both areas because she wants them to. It's very clear that the police came into these encounters looking for a fight. And I think the protesters had the exact right chant as they were shouting, Why are you in riot gear? There is no riot here. Go watch the videos. The only people being violent are the police. And if you're watching this and you believe that peacefully protesting the state is sufficient reason for police violence, then I might suggest that you look up what a fascist is. Might I suggest an encyclopedia? Maybe a mirror? So many possibilities. But I think one person we should check in with on this is Pierre Poilier, who has been very clear about his beliefs about free speech in university campuses. He's spoken again and again about the need for free speech and said that we should appoint a free speech guardian in order to ensure that free speech was protected on campuses. Even though that sounds like a character out of a new conservative relaunch of Reboot, he's been suspiciously quiet on this whole thing. It's interesting how he seems to pick and choose what he wants to talk about based on his political convenience. Reporters really do need to be pushing him on this question. Does his support for free speech extend to even the free speech that he disagrees with, or does he just want an echo chamber of people who agree with him? Because right now it appears that Danielle Smith, along with the University of Alberta and Calgary, are doing everything they can to silence speech that they find inconvenient. And that's a huge problem. 